Doka, Sandra, and Bogu. Hey! See the way they reply the people when they saga her for Facebook. Who the Zuzu? Hey! If you are bullying, wait is woe. If you are bullying, wait is woe. to you after open all the old saga she not come out she not talk anything she know they make noise but god see they bless her who the zuzu hey saga go go now you the zuzu i bet no fear my head there go cut so for me go so for me you know why they happy for her many people did this europe they say fine say she they do a shower but many people did this europe they don't spend that many years as in no prick we they never carry for this Europe. But no near ten years for Nigeria. No fifty by hundred. But see her. Sandra, I toilet it for you. You try. If you don't have shower, you they do at least you achieve something. Now everybody when they do a shower, now they achieve something. Hey. Hey. You see, you see if you they happy near her. If you they quarrel, dress God has said. Oh, Sandra, congratulations for you. Congrats. It's not easy. It's not easy. Not be everybody make up for Europe. Not be everybody. But you went to Nigeria. Ha. Oh, no. Yes, it's a lot. If you have money, wait, it's well. If you have money, wait, it's well. Oh. Reply my enemy. Anybody will want to put me down. I go they just congratulations till they reply you. If you they saga me, people will they wish me congratulations. Who they zuzu? Who they breed? Sandra, are you they breed? Hey. 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 Sandra, I too love you. You are a strong woman. Not be everybody will do a shower maker. They say if you are shower, at least you see achieve something. Not easy now. Nah. People they will come to a shower for Europe. They spend that many years. They don't get one thing for Nigeria, but see you. I don't care where you for see money, but at least you achieve something. Congratulations, more celebration to you. As the people will continue to celebrate you, more success are still coming. They will keep on celebrate you. Okay. <laughs> I was poisoned by my friend. But he died <laughs> instead of me. Um, I was present on the 16th of April last year by my friend. And he died two months later after he poisoned me. How is that possible? Well, I don't know. But well, you are going to hear it. I'm going to tell you how. So, on the 15th of April... Before 16, that John praised me. He called me and asked if I was going to be at home on the 16th. I said, yes, I was not going anywhere on the 16th. He said, okay. okay before that 16, um, there is something I discovered after John praised me. That was when it was done to me that this guy had a motive. Anytime John entered my room, John will ask me a price of anything in my room. John would want to know how much I get every single thing in my room. I never knew John had a motive. I never knew John wanted to kill himself because not me. To take those things in my room. I never knew. So on the 16th of April, John called me in the morning and asked if he should guess me Agbo for beggar on his way coming. I said, okay, he should. When, when he comes, I'm going to give him the money back. Um, I bought the Agbo. There was a day I bought the Agbo in beggar. I love the Agbo. Trust me, the Agbo is very effective. I took the Agbo. John, John knew I love the Agbo. I never knew he wanted to use that Agbo to kill himself, but not me. So in the morning, 
it was around eight. John came with the agbo. I was outside with a neighbor, also John by name. John was washing his clothes outside. We were just outside, just then. When this John came, who killed himself came. John handed the agbo over to me. He said before I drank it, I should shake it very well. I said, okay, which I did. I took the agbo. It was not up to two minutes after taking the agbo. John said we should go inside my room. There is something he wants to discuss with me. I said, uh, let's have the discussion outside. He said, no, he does not want any yet to hear it. I said, okay, let's go. We went inside my room. Trust me, it was not up to a minute after getting inside my room that I could not feel my body anymore. I could not lift my hand. I could not raise my leg. I could not lift up my head. I was just lying lifeless. My head was so heavy. I asked John, what is in this agbo? John said, yeah. he told me, he said that the agbo is very effective, this and that too. And if I take the agbo, that's how I'm going to feel. It. I said, John, this is not the first time I'm taking this agbo. You remember the last time I took it, you were there. And that day we were even going somewhere. I never felt this way. He said, yeah, I should relax. I'm going to be fine. That was the last conversation I remember I had with John. That morning, around 8 p.m. in the night, I saw people in my room, including my neighbor John, somewhere crying. John asked me, What happened? I said, I should be asking you, Why is everyone here? He said, Leo, this is what happened. That your friend that came here wanted to kill you. I said, God will be not me. He said, that boy you took. He checked me an hour ago and he found me lifeless like this. Wow. Since money and you just checked on me. He said he thought I went to somewhere with him. I looked inside my room almost half half of my things in my room are gone i said wow this is serious i knelt down i pray i pray to god for bringing me back to life trust me i prayed all night that day the second day i took my small phone at the time of the incident, my small phone was on my pocket, so John never knew the small phone was on, on my pocket. I believe if he had seen the phone, he was going to take it along with those things he took. I dialed the number on the small phone. He was so very surprised. His first question was, Leo, you did not die? I say yes, I did not die. Instead, my enemies would die my death. <laughs> That's what I told him. I said my enemies are going to die for my sake. I shall not die before my time. He says, so this one that you did not die, Leo. 